From this innocuous and otherwise legitimate car wash, Ali Qadir and Dilshad Shamo ran a prolific people smuggling operation that brought thousands of migrants to Europe. Five, six, seven, eight. Business was booming as they advertised their services on social media. Migrants shot videos promoting their experiences, described as like a travel agency for smugglers. There was a, a number of videos that we have identified where they would be effectively doing a promotional video to see how wonderful Shamo and Kadi were, uh, uh, the great service they provided. Someone said to my team as a trip advisor, they were rating their service. After a tip-off, the pair who lived in the UK legally came to the attention of the National Crime Agency and an undercover operation was put in place. Tapped phone calls caught them discussing routes and migrant numbers. Most of the migrants trafficked by Shamo and Qadir came from the Middle East, including Iraqi Kurdistan. Here in the city of Erbil, using an undercover journalist, we soon find smugglers on social media. They offer us passage to the UK and in some cases counterfeit or stolen passports. One critical feature exposed by the NCA investigation into Shamo and Qadir is how their lucrative operation was financed. Inside this building is Erbil's thriving money market. Huge amounts of dollars and other currencies are exchanged. What's also going on is Hawala banking, a traditional system based almost entirely around trust. Hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of deals are made and there are a few electronic or paper trails. Reasons why Hawala banking is often preferred by people smugglers. Our undercover reporter, as instructed by a smuggler, goes to Hawala to discuss the passport and passage to the UK. We don't go through with a deal, and most Hawala banking has legitimate purposes. But experts say it shows why difficult to trace cash transactions are also preferred by organised crime. Are we doing enough? at the minute to stop the exploitation of Hawala banking by smugglers? Definitely not enough is being done. What we would call for right now is really uh, refocusing efforts to combat migrant smuggling on those financial flows, on those financial aspects, rather than simply targeting smuggled migrants who arrive in a certain country. What we need to understand is, is where is the, the real money going? Today, Shamo and Kadir admitted their role in smuggling people across Europe. It's thought they could have made millions of pounds. All of the people who offered us deals in Iraq later denied being involved in smuggling, but thousands of migrants continue to enter the UK illegally every year as the continental trade in human misery continues. Rora Davis, BBC News.